Hello everyone. In this video, we are given a geometric figure, which is a circle, and we have drawn two tangents from this point A to this circle. And then we have taken a random point D on this circle, and we are connecting B and C with this point D. So our goal is to find out this angle X that is formed between DB and DC. So we need to make use of some interesting geometry pro properties uh, to solve this question. And before we proceed to the solution, if you like my content, please do subscribe to my channel and like this video. Okay, let us proceed to the solution. So the first step here is I'm going to join OB and OC. Okay, that are nothing but the radii of this circle. So this is OB and this is OC. And uh, we know one of the properties of tangents that is nothing but the angle between radius and tangent at the point of contact is always 90 degree, right? So because of that, this angle is 90 degree, the angle between radius and tangent and this angle also will be 90 degree. Okay. Now I want to figure out what is this central angle BOC. Okay. You'll know the reason why we are trying to find out this angle later on. Okay, let's try to find out this angle and we can easily find out this angle using the angle sum property of the quadrilateral. You can see A, B, O, C is a quadrilateral, right? So we know that in a, any quadrilateral, the sum of four interior angles is always 360 degree. So let's make use of that property here. So in the quadrilateral A, B, O, C, the sum of four angles is 360 degree. So angle A plus angle B plus angle O plus angle C must be equal to 360 degrees. Angle A is 50 degree as given. Angle B is 90 degree. Angle O is what we want to find out. Let's keep it as it is. And angle C will be 90 degree again. This is equal to 360. And here 90 plus 90 is 180. 180 plus 50 is uh, 230. So we have got 230 degree plus angle O equal to 360 degree. So from here we get angle O equal to 360 degree minus 230 degree, which is equal to what? 130 degree. So this central angle over here is 130 degrees. Now using this central angle, I'm going to figure out angle X. In fact, this angle X is exactly half of 130 degree. This is one of the properties of circles. Okay. Suppose we have this circle over here. So this property tells us that the angle formed by this arc PQ at the center is always two times the angle formed at any other point. Suppose if the angle formed at this point is X, okay, this is a point on the circle. Then the angle at the center will always be twice this angle that is two times X. So we can make use of this property. So applying this property in the figure, we get the angle at the center that is angle BOC that is equal to two times the angle at point D that is angle BDC. Okay. Now what is angle BOC? It is 130 degree. This is equal to two times angle BDC, which is X. So from here we get X equal to 130 degree divided by two, which is equal to 65 degrees which means the value of this angle over here, that is this X is 65 degrees. So we made use of a couple of properties of geometry and we were able to get to the value of X very easily. And I hope all of you enjoyed the solution for such interesting videos. Kindly subscribe to my channel and like this video. I will see you all in the next video.